Hello there and welcome to another episode of the Pumpkin Patch Show, the only show on the internet where a man will sit down and talk about video games. It's a unique idea and I hope it takes off. Today I am joined by my special guest host, Sounds of Decepticon Screaming Against Scenic Background. Don't mention us, I'm just glad to have you on the show. Coming up on this episode of the Pumpkin Patch Show, we'll be talking about Firewall Zero Hour DLC number three and what might be in it. We'll be talking about the Game Awards show and how fucking shite it was for us PSVR owners. We'll take a look at the kind of funny showcase that did a much better job than the Game Awards did. And finally, we'll end the show with the Petrifying Pumpkins Game of the Year award show. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be better than both of the previous ones combined. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be amazing. Anyway, let's jump right in. Any chance of a map, lads? So first up, we got some very exciting news in the latest Firewall Friday community updates. I'm sorry I couldn't cover this any sooner. I was very busy all weekend, but I'm here now, so calm down. Damon Shabs once again delivered the goods by announcing that there will be a DLC number three coming on the 18th of December. That's just a little bit over a week from when I'm recording right now. So that's a huge surprise for me because I thought First Contact Entertainment confirmed that they weren't going to be working on any more DLC until after the holidays, so this is a big surprise, but I'm not complaining. However, Shabs never told us what was going to be in DLC number three, so it's left to us to speculate. There is no teaser trailer this time, we have nothing to go on, it's just, you know, your best guess. I suspect everyone and their mother will be looking for a new map, and I hope so too, that would be cool. All I will say is that just be careful you don't get your hopes up. I know hopes were high for a new map in the last one and it didn't happen. So just, you know, keep your hopes you know, in check and then uh, you won't be too disappointed if it doesn't happen. And one other thing that was in the community update that you might be interested in hearing is that there is a new free trinket that's going to go up on the same day for those of us who have a PS Plus subscription. So this is kind of interesting. It seems to be that anytime they do a DLC update now that there's gonna be like a free trinket that goes along with it for PS Plus members. It was the pumpkin face paint first and then it was the uh, little skip and now this. It's like a Christmas bobble thing with like 2018 written on it. So yeah, it's nice to so just keep an eye out for those anytime there's a new DLC. Make sure you're checking for your free, free PS Plus uh, little uh, gift. And of course, let me know in the comments what you would like to see in DLC number three. Decepticon, do you have any uh, ideas of what you think could be in it? Well, I hope he's right. So the Game Awards took place last Thursday night and I even streamed the entire thing on my channel in the hopes of getting either some new PSVR announcements and also, of course, to watch the uh, VR Game of the Year category being awarded. And I was severely disappointed in regards to both of these things. So not only was there not a VR game announcement of any kind throughout the entire show, but when they got to the category of VR Game of the Year, it was so lackluster, so fast, and there was no fanfare whatsoever that it felt disrespectful to the creators of these VR titles, these studios who go there, you know. Congrats to Astrobot for the win, by the way. Now I understand that VR gaming is somewhat niche. I understand that most people watching the VR Game Awards, you know, they're very backward, Neanderthal, uninvolved people. They probably don't care about VR gaming, but still, these game awards, you know, they should be about celebrating the achievements of gaming, you know, rather than, you know, celebrating the popular games only. I mean, am I, am I wrong? What do you think, Screaming Decepticon? Well, I don't care for that language, but I think overall we're in agreement. Why did you turn your back on Kata? So the kind of funny lads got together and they met their own showcase slash little conference show because I think they knew Jeff Keighley was gonna fuck us in the ass. So Greg Miller and his squad did their own showcase. Now I didn't actually watch their show, I was busy at the time, but I wish I had been able to stream that rather than the Game Awards because they actually did have a couple of PSVR things to show, which was very nice. They showed off a trailer for a game called Mini Mech Mayhem. It seems to be a four-player online PSVR exclusive. It looks like a uh, 
a VR game where you're playing like a tabletop game within that game using like little moving robot friends they kind of look like I don't know what it is exactly but it looks like it could be cool and I believe they also showed a new trailer for Falcon Age which is the only Falcon game I think I've ever seen you got a little falcon on your wrist and you feed them and you send them off to do things and whatever that looks like it could be very cool and that's coming in 2019 sometime no specific date mini mech mayhem is early 2019 by the way so even though it was just those two that i think i know of i think uh it was still infinitely better than the game awards in regards to psvr or even vr in general announcement so i have to have a little bit of respect for greg miller and his squad for putting that together and on such short notice too it makes me wonder if i could maybe put something together with like just i don't know an hour's gnosis maybe let's see let's find out let's go to it right now welcome to the first annual pumpkin world Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual Petrifying Pumpkin Awards, also known as the Pumpies, the place where we celebrate the achievements, the hard work and the dedication of PSVR gamers and developers across the world. Now today we're going to have awards, we're going to have world premieres, and you know, speaking of world premieres, here's one right now, please play the tape. This is not how I imagined my first day. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to Something's not right. Stay back, sir. I got this. What the? That's right, Resident Evil 2 Remake will be playable completely from beginning to end in VR exclusively to PSVR. Now I'd like to thank Capcom for reaching out to me and for begging me to put this in the pumpies. Thank you Capcom, appreciate it. Now stay tuned because we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Are you single? Do you wish you could find a member of the opposite sex? I used to be like you until I tried Moist by Pumpkins. Apply just a dab of Moist on you every morning and be amazed as members of the opposite sex become unable to resist your pungent aroma. Moist is unisex and has a 100% success rate. Please use Moist responsibly. Welcome back to the Pumpies and we have our first award of the night. Very exciting. Now this one is for Best PSVR Content Creator of the Year. And the nominees are... Yeah, I know I'm dressed like a dinosaur. Forget about it. All the way, man. Ain't nobody see it. Nobody don't, don't even happen. And the winner is... I can't, I can't believe this. Petrifying Pumpkins. I would like to accept this award on behalf of myself. I want to thank all of you out there, you know. I want to thank each of you watching right now. I want to thank Decepticon for screaming. You know, I want to thank myself most of all. Thank you very much. Now it's time for another world premiere.
That's right, The Elder Scrolls 6 PSVR exclusive. You heard it here first. would like to thank Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda for getting in touch with me and arranging this fantastic announcement right here at the Pumpies 2018. Now it's time for VR Game of the Year. Nominees are Firewall, Astrobos, B Saber, uh, something else. Uh, winner is Firewall. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye bye. You know, good luck. Usual shite. Take it easy.